Hello everyone, Nick from Global Nico here, sitting among the Byzantine castle ruins here in Tironi, my hometown here in Greece, where at the end of the beach there's this little peninsula with Byzantine castle ruins that you can explore when you come and visit here. But I figured on this sunny and crisp winter day that I would come up here to do a little video about why I started a travel YouTube channel. The reason I decided to start a travel YouTube channel stemmed from my love of travel, which I mean, that's obvious, right? You'd have to love to travel in order to start a travel YouTube channel. But for me, I've always loved to travel ever since I was a small child. I grew up in two different countries and flying over here to Tironi, Greece from New York every summer of course made me very accustomed to flying far and wide and so I've always been comfortable with traveling to a faraway place and exploring a place that is very far away from home. And because of course since Tironi is a popular holiday destination I met people from a lot of other countries from around Europe and so from a young age that really exposed me to different languages, different cultures, different ways of life, and an awareness of different places around the world that had interesting things to see and learn about. So that curiosity to explore really kind of goes back then for me. So fast forward, I worked in the broadcast news business for about eight years. During that time, learning how to shoot video, learning how to edit video, and of course, you know, the adventurous side of such a job kind of, you know, solidified for me that I do have enough of an adventurous streak to want to uh, travel the world and, you know, create media content while doing it. Then after moving on from the news business because I wasn't getting any steady staff work anywhere, I was just getting by on freelance stuff, which any of you that know anything about freelance journalism and working as a freelance journalist know, you can't make a living on that. Very, very few people go beyond that, that go into the news business. It's a sad reality of the way things are in that business, but you know, I couldn't afford to keep fighting on in it, so I had to move on. Went into academia for a little while, went to graduate school for political science and international relations. Then the COVID pandemic happened while I was in the middle of graduate school, and that kind of threw another monkey wrench into things. Teaching was really what drew me to academia anyway, because that is what I was into much more than the research side of it. But COVID happened, it made the teaching side of it even tougher because everything went remote and I, you know, I didn't really go into it to be sitting in my apartment teaching remotely. And it also made what was already kind of being drilled into my head and it seemed like everyone else in the department, which is that, you know, the job market is, is really tough and that you're going to spend at least half a decade getting your PhD for a, a job market that is really, really bad. So I was like, well, I've heard this all before when I was in the news business and, you know, it wasn't very encouraging. So um, after spending time at home that I otherwise would be traveling when I had to kind of stay home more because of COVID, I spent more time watching travel YouTube channels because I needed an escape from all of the news that was going on in the world about COVID. And, you know, I was in the US at the time. So with all of the rioting, watching travel YouTube channels more than I had before, um, kind of added to some of my inspiration. I had thought of starting a travel YouTube channel for years. It wasn't something that just sprang up out of the frustrations of the COVID pandemic and academia and all of that. But 2020 really was the sort of the the catalyst, you could say, that really, um, that really made me be like, all right, you know what? Screw it. I want to do something completely different than I'd ever done before and something that's going to be on my own terms and something that is going to fulfill all of my desires. So, you know, I figured, well, I have a media background. I have a desire to travel and a curiosity and at least a, a, enough of a sense of adventure that I could try starting a travel YouTube channel. Why not? You know, a lot of other people do it that I feel like if they could do it, I could do it. So. I got a GoPro camera and started, of course, uh, in upstate New York, close to where I was based at the time, and then started going farther and wider. And so now I'm back in Greece and doing some stuff here. I'm coming up to a year since I started my channel uh, in a couple of months. Doing travel videos on YouTube is something that does provide a certain value for those who are interested in travel and even those maybe who are not interested in travel but are interested in seeing a part of the world that they either have been to or haven't been to but would like to go to or a place they know they'll never get to travel to but they're they're curious about what it's like there so you know, as I've gotten myself used to being on camera, because that is something that took a little while to get used to, and I'm a little more comfortable with it now than I used to be. But um, now that I'm used to showing you guys 
places that I travel to, I really see the value in sharing my travel experiences with those of you who are watching with me and also, you know, showing the world in a different light through my own eyes, through my own experiences. Having those of you who are watching along with me when I travel, of course, yeah, it may not be the same as literally having you with me, but I'm still sharing my experience with you guys. I think that sharing with whomever is interested in watching here on YouTube, uh, the places I go to and the places that I see, um, you know, it's something that makes it more fun. Traveling is fun already, but it makes it even more fun when I can, when I can share it with people who are interested in watching. Now, the biggest challenge, of course, for me is the financial side of it because I am not a wealthy person. I don't come from a wealthy family. I did not win the lottery. I'm not making royalties from something I did or published years ago. I don't have someone who's paying for me to do things, you know, like a sugar mama or dad or whatever. Um, you know, whatever people think that, you know, people like me have, um, I don't. I'm doing this on my own. Something I've had as a side job for years now is teaching English online and so I have been getting by on doing that for now but of course I, I do hope that this YouTube channel grows if that can happen with this YouTube channel the sky is the limit uh, there's there's really not a limit to what I am willing to do for this channel and the places that I'm willing to show you guys that are watching me here on Global Nico if this channel can get to the point where it's a big channel we'll see uh, I, for now, I know that I will continue to make as many videos as I can. Believe me, I do have a lot of really fun travel plans that I really cannot wait to share with you guys. Thank you to those of you who have subscribed to me along the way. I really appreciate having you guys along and supporting me by subscribing to me. Take care and travel better.